Hello, welcome to our online information session. My name is Sean Butcher and I'm the Program Director for Engineering and Technology here at UC Berkeley Extension. Today I'm going to talk with you about the Certificate Program in Software Development and Programming and how it can benefit you, whether you're a career changer or are already working in software development and want to deepen your practical knowledge, or if you have a non-technical position in a technical company. We'll begin today talking about the technology industry job outlook and how our certificate can teach you the practical knowledge to be qualified for various job positions. You'll also learn the nuts and bolts of our certificate, what courses you'll take, where you'll take your courses, and then how you can get started with the certificate or just enroll in a single course. If you have any questions during this presentation, please go ahead and send them in. We'll do our best to answer your questions as we go through the presentation and answer as many as we can at the end. So let's get started. The Certificate in Software Development and Programming is designed to prepare you for a new career in technology, for advancement in your current technology position, or for a non-technical position with a technology company. It should come as no surprise that skilled professionals who have a deep knowledge in software development and programming are in high demand. Our close proximity to the Silicon Valley area makes us more in tune with what's happening in the sector, what new technologies are on the horizon, and more importantly, the skill sets that professionals will need to keep up with the ever-changing technology landscape. The employment outlook for the technology industry is very positive. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, employment in the technology industry is growing faster than the average for other industries. Employment growth till 2022 is predicted to be about 34% in the Bay Area and 19% nationally. Predicted salary growth has been around 6.3% in the Bay Area and 3.9% nationally. So how can UC Berkeley Extension help you achieve your career goals and become more competitive in this growing field? UC Berkeley Extension is the continuing education arm of the flagship campus UC Berkeley. UC Berkeley Extension was founded by the University of California, Berkeley in 1891 just 22 years after UC Berkeley itself was established in 1869. It is the second oldest extension program in the country, second only to Harvard Extension. Since 1891, we've been assisting students in reaching their professional goals and accomplishments. We offer more than 65 professional certificates and specialized programs, and more than 2,000 classroom and online courses with 45,000 enrollments each year. We pride ourselves on academic excellence. All of our courses and instructors, as in this certificate, are approved by the appropriate department on campus. In particular, this certificate program is fully supported by the UC Berkeley School of Information. Our certificates require academic advisory boards, which comprise campus faculty, and industry leaders. They review the curriculum to ensure that it is up to date and in touch with emerging trends and hot topics. Our instructors, most of whom work in the field, also bring their real world experience to the classroom. So when you enroll in a UC Berkeley Extension course, you are guaranteed a real world, professional, Berkeley quality education. So let's focus on the certificate itself. In the following slides, I'll talk about how this certificate can benefit you, what courses you'll take, who your instructors are, and the options for taking courses in the classroom or online. Also, where are the graduates working and how can you get started? So who will benefit from earning a certificate in software development and programming? The program is specially designed for students who wish to change careers and move into a technology field, for students who are already working in technology roles but have limited backgrounds in technology, or for non-technical professionals who work for a technology company 
and are seeking to know more about the products and services related to their work. Professionals who will benefit from the certificate include software developers, web developers, system administrators, IT managers, systems analysts, project analysts, project managers, software QA engineers, and product managers. Another big benefit is that you get the opportunity to network and share your knowledge with a wide array of industry professionals who you'll share the classroom with. With our certificate, you'll gain an in-depth and practical knowledge in some highly sought after subject areas, such as programming, web development, databases, data analysis, operations and networking, security, software development lifecycle, and much more. Courses are focused on applied knowledge versus theoretical knowledge. The information and materials you learn in our classes can immediately be transferred or translated into your day-to-day -day jobs. To complete the entire certificate, you'll take five to six required courses, depending on the specific courses taken. You must take one programming course, and then courses from two different topic areas other than programming. If you have a limited background in computing, you should take Introduction to Computers and Programming first. This course doesn't count as a separate topic area. The topic areas include software development lifecycle, data and databases, programming, operations, networking and security, and web development. This allows you to master the core skills and target areas that you want to specialize in. In the following slides, I'll go through the different courses we offer under each of those topic areas. In total, you'll receive 10 semester units of classwork and 150 hours of hands-on practical instruction. You might be wondering how much time I will be devoting to my studies. As a general guideline, for every hour spent in the classroom, you should expect to spend about two hours outside of class time studying. For example, if you're in a class that meets once a week for three hours, count on spending up to six hours outside the class reading, preparing assignments, and working on projects. In total, this will be about nine hours for both class and studying time each week. Most students complete the certification in one to two years, but you have up to three years to complete all of the courses once you've registered for the certificate. So let's dig into the different courses based on topic areas. Here you'll see our software development lifecycle courses. In software project management, you'll learn about the latest approaches, methodologies and standards of software development. You'll learn how to manage a full software lifecycle from proposal stage to the retirement stage. In software quality assurance methodologies, you'll become familiar with testing, and trained in key lifecycle methodologies. You'll focus mostly on the standard software quality assurance methodologies practiced throughout the software industry. In software product management, you'll learn the basics of product management and the fundamentals of how to be a good product manager. You'll study lean product management theory and scrum planning basics, as well as a study of real world scenarios to learn the strategies behind good product management decisions. Here are the courses in our data and databases subject area. In introduction to data and analytics, you'll learn advanced Excel, SQL, and R to perform analysis on huge sets of data. In introduction to databases, you'll cover all the basic topics of relational databases including querying a database using SQL, database design, as well as physical storage and deployment issues. The class also covers non-relational database topics such as dimensional databases, NoSQL, and object-oriented databases. Then in data mining using SQL, you learn how to analyze and mine data with the Structured Query Language, or SQL, 
your advance into using SQL data analysis and data mining with real applications. Here are our programming courses. Again, to complete the certificate, you must take one of these courses. First course in Java introduces you to the Java programming language, which is one of the most widely used languages. You'll examine fundamental programming concepts and get an introduction to object-oriented programming. In Introduction to C pro language programming, you'll learn how to write simple C language applications. This will give you a great background if you take other courses that require some knowledge in computer programming. Then in Python programming, you'll learn about this open source script language. It is used to provide access to databases, CGI programming, system administration, and other services. Here are the operations, networking, and security courses. Linux command line is intended for developers and administrators. You'll master the use of Linux operating environments using command sets, shells, and scripting frameworks. DevOps practitioners are often described as sitting in the middle of software development, IT operations, and quality assurance. So in Introduction to DevOps, you'll learn how development and operation methods can improve feature deliverability, software correctness, and system stability and size. Introduction to Cybersecurity gives you an examination into the various mechanisms to implement a comprehensive cybersecurity program within an enterprise organization. And then in Fundamentals of Data Communication and Networking, you will gain the knowledge to make intelligent decisions about the appropriate design, purchase, integration, and use of data communications equipment and systems. Our final topic area is web development. Fundamentals of Website Development is a hands-on class where you will learn the ins and outs of front-end development. At the end of the class, you'll have built two small websites that you can include in your portfolio. In JavaScript and jQuery, you'll learn the fundamentals of one of the world's most popular programming languages and the library that simplifies client-side scripting of HTML. You'll learn best practices techniques and strategies from our instructors who bring years of real-world experience to the classroom. They have tremendous depth and experience within the industry. Again, they are also approved by UC Berkeley's School of Information. They are passionate about sharing their knowledge with you and helping you achieve your professional and career goals. They bring to the classroom concepts that illuminate the topics as well as real-world examples from their job and consultancy experience. Under your instructor's guidance, you'll work through examples and gain first-hand knowledge through case-based scenarios and interactive projects. Here are just a few of our roster of outstanding instructors. Alan Miller is a veteran data scientist and educator. He is an active member of the San Francisco Bay Area R language data science community. Alan is also an advisory board member in our data science program. Andrew Opel is an extension honored instructor and a senior data solutions architect at Good Data Corporation. Andrew has more than 40 years of experience in information technology and more than 35 years of experience teaching with us. Michael Kramer is one of our extension honored instructors and is an application developer at the Federal Reserve Bank in San Francisco. He was previously a computer systems engineer at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. Michael has more than 25 years of experience in computer programming. Carl Limsko, also an honored instructor, is a certified Java programmer and an independent web architecture consultant. Carl has more than 15 years of software development experience, ranging from mobile applications to enterprise level systems. We offer classrooms both in the classroom and online. If a course is offered both in the classroom and online, you can choose whichever format works for your schedule. You can also take some classes in the classroom and some classes online. 
we are all about maximum flexibility for our students. When you take a classroom-based course, you'll be learning in our downtown Berkeley Center, which is just a couple of blocks away from campus. Or you can take cl a class at our South of Market San Francisco campus, just a short walk from the Embarcadero BART station. Both locations are easy to get to using public transportation, so you don't have to leave work early to get to class. We also have a location in Belmont, which is best for those who work or live in the South Bay. You'll need to drive to that centre. If you want to take a course online, you will take an ongoing continuous enrollment class. These allow you to enroll at any time to begin your course. You progress through the course at your own pace and you have six months to complete the coursework. Your learning materials are always accessible in the online environment. Group discussions, forum posts and instructor posed questions provide rich opportunities to interact with your fellow classmates. You'll learn by reading materials, watching videos and responding to group and instructor posts. You submit your homework assignments electronically. Your instructor will provide feedback and grading as you progress through the class. So you can see we offer a great deal of flexibility to fit your schedule and education needs. Earning a certificate is a simple three-step process. First, register for the certificate. We encourage students to register for the program when they're confident that the program is right for them. And this is because the program registration fee is non-refundable. We also recommend that students register before completing their second course. Then complete all the required courses with a grade of C or better within the three year time period. Probably one of the biggest benefits is that you pay as you go. You don't pay for the entire certificate once, you pay for each course one at a time. Prices vary based on each course, but in total the cost is approximately $4,000. I encourage you to talk to your supervisor or HR manager about your company's education and training benefits. Many of our students get fully or partially reimbursed for all the courses they take. Finally, once you complete all the courses, you'll receive your certificate. Many of you may be wondering, what do our graduates go on to do? We're always super proud of our students' success. Many of our instructors share stories of former students who have landed positions or who advanced in their careers. Here are a few of our recent graduates and their current positions. Gabriel Dominguez completed the certificate with distinction in 2016. He's currently working as a QA test engineer at Comtech EF Data. He has many years of experience in satellite communications business with a specialty in systems and application integration. Volha Kamineva was also awarded a certificate with distinction and has been working as a software QA engineer at both EFI and BusinessWire. She is now a UX and UI engineer at BusinessWire. David Jaquette has been focusing his work as a SharePoint engineer at San Francisco International Airport and as a consultant at Rose International. He is now a senior business ops analyst and SharePoint administrator and developer at Kaiser Permanente. You can read more about our graduates on our Voices blog on the website. So how do you get started? If you are new to Extension, you'll need to create a free student account through our website. You'll use this account to enroll and pay for your courses, find out about your grades, schedule your exams if you take an online course and track your progress through the program. Then enroll in your first course. Again, if you have a limited background in computing, you should take introduction to computers and programming first. I also suggest filling out our newsletter sign up form. You'll receive monthly emails about upcoming courses and new blog posts. Thank you for submitting your questions many of which we've been able to answer during the presentation. Here are a few more that have come in. Can I transfer credit from a college or university? You can transfer up to 25% of the coursework. 
However, we will need to evaluate the coursework and accept it as a suitable substitution for the courses within the curriculum. Is UC Berkeley Extension academic credit transferable? Typically, the answer is yes. However, every institution has its own policies, so we strongly recommend that you check with your home institution first to ensure that the credits you earn with us will be transferable. And here's another question that's come in. Can you take multiple courses at the same time? Yes, you can. We recommend that you start. You should take one course at a time. I wouldn't recommend taking more than two courses at the same time. Obviously, it depends on what your other time commitments are. If you're working full time, it may be rather a heavy load to take two courses. But if you take a single course first, you can get a good idea about what the overall workload is. And another person asks, can the Intro to C programming course be taken by someone who has absolutely no idea of programming at all? The prerequisites for this course state that a familiarity with fundamental programming language concepts is helpful. It's not a complete beginner's course, but you can take it as a beginner. It may be a little bit more of a struggle if you have absolutely no background in computing. We do provide another course, Introduction to Computers and Programming, which is our recommended starting point for students who have absolutely no background in programming. You can take an individual programming course, and you can succeed in that. It just may be a little bit more of a challenge. Another question is, what hardware is required for these classes? Some classes have specific requirements, and you should check the course description. However, for virtually every course in this program, you can use a Mac or Windows or Linux. And one final question is, can you describe some of the essential differences between this program and the Coding Bootcamp? The Coding Bootcamp is designed as a more intensive program. You complete the courses in six month time period. It involves you in a lot more work, so it's a much larger commitment of time. It's designed as a single seamless course to provide you with the skills to be a front end web developer or a full stack web developer whereas this certificate has some more general courses on other topics. Well, that's all the time we have to take your questions. But if you have any additional questions that I wasn't able to answer, here is my contact information. You can reach us at email at extension techeng at berkeley.edu or by phone at 510-642-4151. I would love to hear from you and discuss how this certificate or individual courses can help you in your career goals. Thank you again for taking the time to learn about our certificate and course offerings in software development and programming. I look forward to seeing you in one of our classrooms or online.